Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to make an amazing house in Minecraft. Now, a lot of you guys come to me asking for advice on how to do this. You'll ask, like, how do I make a crazy house to where I can press all my friends and, and it looks absolutely phenomenal when it's done? Well, today I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to do so. So I've come up with a list of the top six tips that I can possibly think of to help you guys on your way with making the Minecraft house of your dreams. So if you follow these tips and, uh, and do them correctly you should end up with a pretty awesome house so let's go ahead and get started tip number one is making sure you have a great location make sure make sure your surrounding is smart be smart when picking out a location for your house because you don't want to be able to say that you limited yourself you you don't want to get stuck saying um, I couldn't add a basement because bedrock was there or I couldn't add another floor to my house because I was too high in the sky and there wasn't enough room I couldn't go any higher or you know I couldn't add another room because you know the end of the map was right there make sure you're smart when planning out the location for your house make sure that you have plenty of room so that later on down the road if you feel like adding another room to your house or maybe you feel like putting a swimming pool outside you have plenty of room to do so because in the end that's all that really matters is having space the next tip is patterns make sure you're smart when building the outside of your house because that's what everyone sees first Patterns, when I say patterns, I'm talking about symmetry. I'm talking about things that match. Um, take a look at the outside of my hotel. You'll see that I have fountains, I have trees, I have walkways, and they are all even. I have six trees on each side. They're all lined up perfectly all the way across. I also have four fountains, two on each side that are lined up perfectly all the way across, and I have two walkways, one on each side that's lined up perfectly all the way across. As you can tell, it looks really amazing from the outside. Make sure everything is even. Patterns make your house look a lot better because um, let's just say I had 12 trees and they were just scattered all around the front. It would look so stupid and it wouldn't match at all. So make sure everything is even when it comes to um, all the stuff that you're going to build around your house. Tip number three, have a good entrance. The entrance is the first thing that everybody sees before they walk into your house, right? That's the that's their first impression. So, what you want to do, you don't just want to have that door. You just don't want to be like, oh, walk up into the crib, right through a door, there's nothing else. Do what I did. You know, like, have a garden, have some fountains, put some bushes outside, um, you know, have flowers, have some trees. Do a lot of cool stuff to the outside of your house near the entrance so that people are excited to walk into your house. It's not like just that dull, boring old entrance that, hey, there's a door here in the wall, walk in. You know, make sure that, it, put some pizzazz into the entrance of your house if that makes any sense. Tip number four, designs. Make sure that your house has lots of designs because designs look really nice, especially when you get really into it. Um, by designs, I'm talking about block order. Um, as in, uh, don't just make the whole wall plank. Say you have a wall that's 10 by 10. A lot of people are just going to make it all planks. What Now, what's the difference between looking at a wall that's all planks and then looking at a wall that has these crazy designs with different colored blocks? the designed blocks or the designed walls are going to look so much better. So take your time. Come up with some crazy designs. Google some if you can't think of any. Honestly, guys, I just did this, and I was just BSing the whole thing. You, It really takes no talent. You just got to put blocks in random orders, and they end up looking sweet. I promise it works. Um... Floor plans. If you want to look up floor plans on Google, I'm not going to judge you. A lot of people are going to be like, wow, that's going way too hard on Minecraft. But if you have no, if you're at that point where you have no idea what you want to do with your house, it's probably not such a bad idea to look up some floor plans or blueprints to where, you know, you know where your room's going to be. You already have the whole house planned out before you're building. It will help in the long run, truly. The fifth tip is details. Decoration. Make sure that your house is well decorated. Put plants, put flower pots, which is the same thing. <laughs> put paintings on the walls. Have chairs and couches and tables and windows and, and cool lights throughout the house. Um, you know, have balconies like on second stories and, and have walkways through the house. And, and like I did, put some bushes on the outside. It's all about decoration. The more decoration, the better. Now, Obviously, you don't want to flood a room with paintings. You don't want to have paintings literally all over the wall because that will look silly. But like I said, this all comes back to the symmetry. Have a painting on one wall, have a painting on the other wall. That goes with symmetry, that goes with patterns, and that goes with decorations. It'll make your house look great, I promise. Just make sure that you evenly distribute your decorations. We don't need to put all your decorations in one room. We need to make sure it's all throughout the house because it'll look a whole lot better, I promise. 
Okay, the last tip is for you. This is you, you only. This is not me, this is you. Originality, and I know you hear this all the time. Originality, be unique. Trust me, put your own spin into the house. Come up with something that's going to make that house. It's going to be your trademark. It's going to make your house what it is. It's going to make your house look crazy awesome. Come up with something. You know, Google it. You don't have to just sit here all day and think, oh, what can I put in my house? A, a jacuzzi, a, just something. Don't don't sit there and spend your whole life trying to think of something cool to do. Google something. Look up, like, rich people houses. That's what you can do. Look up rich people houses on Google. I don't know what's going to come up, but do it. Because you'll probably find some cool stuff and incorporate that into your house. You know, come up with your own thing and uh, and make it happen. I promise. If you follow these tips, everything that you want will will come true. Your dreams will come true. Your Minecraft dreams will come true. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, these tips will help you on your way with making a crazy, spectacular Minecraft house. That's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.